In the previous video, Thomas Sackman shared how he created Enzo's textures by transferring them from the original character he created for his course on CG Circuit. And in this video, he will walk you through the process of how he created the metahuman body morph in Maya. Hello. In this video, I will show you how we transfer all the sculpting from the character I did in my CG Circuit course to the metahuman to bring Enzo to life. A really important part of the process here is to create the morph target for Unreal. In a new Maya scene, we have to import the mesh uh, that we created in ZBrush, and we are importing here the FBX with the body mesh and the rig already. When you create this new Maya scene, here you need to make sure that the settings, the up axis in Maya is Y, but here we need to change it to set because that's how Unreal works. Because the up axis in ZBrush is uh, Y, so what we need to do here is we will select this one, I will go to the channel box and I will go here to rotate in X, 90 here. So as you can see, now we have this in the proper position. We need to make sure that we go here to modify and freeze transformations. So as you can see here, we have our metahuman mesh with the rig. We have here the head mesh that this is just an OBJ to make sure that all the points in the seam, they match later after doing the blend shape. So now what we have here is our head, just for references, our mesh that we imported from ZBrush. I will just select here and go to display and soften edges just to have a nicer look. And as you can see here, we have all our muscles and everything. What we have to have here is our body mesh and our metahuman mesh. Now that we have our two meshes here is I will select this group. And something really important here is that we want to ungroup this. So what I will do is I will select these two and bring it out and I will delete this group. This is really important because when we export this for uh, Unreal, we don't want this to be grouped because all the namings needs to be the same. And I will select this group and I will duplicate it. As you see here, we have the LOD0 here and we have our model from, from ZBrush here. I'll select this mesh, I will select this one and I will do a blend shape here. I uh, will bring this all the way to one. We want to have this with the same name as this one for later when we export the FBX that we don't have any issue. And now that we have this one, I will just delete history. So now we have this mesh that is in this group with this same name as our original one that has the same shape as this mesh. So now we can just delete this mesh. We don't care anymore about it. We are keeping this head here to make sure that the transition of this is nice and clean. Now that we have this, I will bring this one back. I will bring this group and I will do the same and I will bring it to the side as before. And now what I will do, as you see, we have these two bodies. And now we will do the same system as before, where I will select this mesh here, and I will select Shift and this mesh. And I will go again here and press Create Blend Shape. Let me go here to Show, remove the highlight. And as you see, when I do this, we have a blend shape here that it will transfer. So now we are transferring all these muscles here. So now what we will do is we'll select our mesh that we're going to export. We'll go to the Form, Paint Weights, and blend shape. With this, what you see here is that all the mesh turned white. And this means that all this is getting an influence of one for the blend shape that we transfer from this mesh. So what we want here, we want the influence of one in all the mesh, but we want that all this border here, that all this is zero. So we avoid any issue between the transition here. Because what we started seeing with Gabby is that when we did this, we started having some problems where the mesh was not matching exactly here. So what we can do here is we will put here replace and we will go here to the value and we will keep it in zero. And as you see, when I paint here, if you see, let me go somewhere that is more visible. If I paint here, see how the influence changed to zero. And here we have the position of the original mesh. So what I will do here is I will go and paint. We can paint this like this. And then what we can do here is we can go to smooth and flat, right? And then what we are having here is we are having like a smooth transition. Maybe I went a bit too far because we, I want to keep that in zero. And then I can go here again to replace value and I will go with a softer brush. So what we want is all the edges in the border that are fully black. That's what we want. And then we want a soft transition until the other one. Once we have this done, I will go back to our mesh. I will isolate everything. And as you see, we have a proper, like we don't have any issue here in the seam. Now that we have our blend shape done, as you can see, we can compare and we have the transition of the new muscles here. What we will do is I will just delete this one and I will delete the head 
I will go select our model and our root, the skeleton. I will go to File, Export Selection. And here we just need to make sure in the four models, we have here skins and blend shapes ticked. So with this, we'll make sure that we'll export the blend shapes properly. So here I will export selection. I will go here to a new scene and I will bring back the FBX that we just exported just to test it here. And now we have our model with the skeleton. And if we see, we go to the blend shape here and we can go up and down without problem. So this is what we are going to use in Unreal and we are going to use it in the morph target there. And as you can see here, it's important that when we export this, we have this other mesh that has the same name as this one. Another important part of the process that we did to get the seams to work better, because as you see, there are seams that pop up a bit more in our morph than in the original mesh. So if we see here, we see some of the edges here. In the original one, you still see the seams, but we were having some issues with the hands. It was not a matter of the morph, but we want to solve that. So for this, with the plane shape fully on, I will go here to edit and I will select all the vertices here and I will do merge vertices, merge vertices. So now we still have the morph, but if I go here, select mesh display and soften edges, now we avoid to have all the sims. So now that's how we made the hands to work much better. And we didn't have all the sims and all the problems that we have here. And the same to this. Another thing that we can do here is to transfer the details from the LOD zero to the rest of the LODs of this model. If we see here, we have LOD zero, LOD one, two, and three. We have been working on the LOD zero. Here in our second mesh, duplicated mesh, we have the same. So for this, what we need to do is we need to select the group. And if we see here, we have LOD one, star percentage, LOD two, star percentage, and LOD three, star percentage. For this, we go here and we will increase this number to 200, 150 and 100. So now what we do is, depending on how far we are from the model, is the LOD that we will see. So for this, what we are going to do is, I'm going to take the LOD 100, I will duplicate it, and bring it here. If you see here, we have this one, that again, I will move it to the other side. So now what we have is, as you see, if we are far from here, this doesn't have the, the same details as the previous meshes. Only the LOD zero has it. But as soon as we go far, we go back to the previous model from the MetaHuman. So what we need to do here is, let me bring this to the side here, and I will come close to this. So if we see LOD zero and LOD zero is the same, as soon as I go far, like the LOD one, it doesn't have the details. So what we need to do is I will select this mesh, then select shift this mesh, go to mesh, transfer attributes, and here we will transfer, because we don't have the same topology, what I want to do is to transfer the vertex position by UVs. So we have attributes to transfer, vertex position, attributes settings, and sample space UVs. So I will just transfer. Now you see here that we got like a color set that we want to delete. So we'll go here to mesh display, delete current set. And now what we see is that we have, in the LOD one, we have these details. So what I will do is I will just delete history from this mesh and I will do the same thing for the LOD2. So come here, mesh, transfer attributes, and now I can transfer attributes directly. We'll select this mesh, mesh displays, delete current set, and here. So now, if you see, we have now LOD0, LOD1, and LOD2 with this mesh. I will just make sure in each of these, delete history. So now, what we need to do is we need to do the same here. So I will select here, I will go do 200, 150, and 100, and we will need to do the blend shapes again. So if we go here, we have the LOD1, select this one, blend shape, create a new blend shape, and bring it up. There we go. Then I will go to the LOD2, so we will go a bit further, this one, this one, and here. There we go. And as we said, we are not going to do the LOD, um, free here, but you can do it if you want. Uh, so now uh, we are all set. I will be able to delete this one. I will be able to delete this one. And now when we see this, I will be able to delete the head. And when we'll see this, we are in all the LODs, we have our, our mesh here. So here the latest step will be to go to each of the LODs, if we see here. So if you can see what I did now is I changed the number here. If I go here to the LOD percentage, I change it to 150 and 20, so I have a bit more room to play around. 
And what I will do is I will go back to the LOD, let me open this, to the LOD zero. I will select all the vertices again, as I did before. And I will go to merge, merge vertices. So now we'll go a bit further. I will select this, all the vertices again, merge vertices, merge vertices. And we're good. So yeah, once we have this, same thing as before, we can delete this head, select, let me go here to the LOD zero, select this one, select the root, go to file, export selection, make sure again that you have the blend shape and we can export the XPX and all is done. Now that Thomas has shared his workflow, Thomas and I would like to give a special thank you to Unreal Artist and MetaHuman Animator, Sergei Vereshagin, as he guided us through navigating between this MetaHuman Maya to Unreal pipeline and assisted us with issues we encountered during this process. Another helpful resource for this pipeline was this YouTube video featuring solutions architect Tony Bowerin at Epic Games, where he goes over how to bring a MetaHuman into Maya, modify it, and bring it back into Unreal while covering how to fix seam issues that occur when re-importing MetaHumans back into Unreal from Maya. In the next video, I will show you how we brought Thomas's textures and body morph into Unreal Engine and assign them to Enzo.